so this is my uh, review for um, Homefront, uh, starring Jason Statham. Um, I am a let up right off the bat. I am a big fan of Jason Statham. Um, I'm obviously not a fan of the Fast and Furious franchise um, personally, um, but I do like him as a action star, and he's a pretty cool person. So. Uh, when it comes to acting and stuff, and you can you can expect a lot from him, and he'll a lot of the time he'll uh, provide uh, what you're what uh, what do you expect of him? Um, he he definitely does a great job in this. Um, this is a movie I'm definitely kind of kicking myself out for uh, not seeing it already. Um, it. It's a, a very, very uh, interesting uh, piece of work. Um, so it he's an ex-Special Forces, and he's an ex-DEA agent, and uh, he pisses off this uh, drug uh, runner, um, gay member of bikers. And so then he later on takes his daughter and goes to, you know, the south, it looks like, swampy area. And so a whole lot of stuff happens. And, um, you know, the, the, James Franco is in this. And I, I know a lot of people don't like James Franco. I personally don't have a problem with him. I technically like him. He tends to be an interesting person on a take on acting. Um, there is a... You know he did a good job though. He he did a good job. I think he does a good job. Um, I could be wrong. Let me down below uh, what you think of him. I'm sure there's people. I mean, I know for a fact a lot of people don't like him. Um, but he tends to be good in what he's what he does. Um, there there is a part. In, there is a big black guy in here, like wide wise. That it looks so familiar, and I. I can't put my finger on where he's when I see him in. He does kind of look like um, Whitaker, his last name is, I believe. You know, with the eye kind of squit problem. Big black guy usually in uh, action films and, you know, dramas. Um, it's I know it's not him because you can tell by the eye, but he looks like a younger version of him. Um, I will try to find a... A picture of him and who he is. Um, he does get shot, and you know, I was thinking, oh no, he's, they're going to kill him off, and I wasn't a fan of that. But no, he survives at the end, and I love the uh, the woman in here that I you just at the beginning you just hate. She's clearly a druggie by the look of her, and um, you know, she ends up saving. Uh, you know, standing up for the kid, redeeming herself, then gets shot. Um, which I'm, I'm actually surprised after she redeemed herself that she was alive. Um, as far as we know, um, there's an actor in here that he usually plays the badass guy, and I like him, but he dies a lot in the movies. Um, he's more of a side actor kind of action guy. Um, he was in that movie with The Rock where uh, er, uh, the big ape and crocodile and wolf start to get big. That came out, I think, last year or the year before. Um, you know, I, I thought that movie was okay. But I think I did a review on it, so go check that out. Um, probably not the best quality as it is now of my videos. So keep that in mind. Uh, I know some farther I go back. Uh, the quality is worse, and my speaking of uh, flow of it is not that good. So, you know, but it is what it is. You gotta, you gotta, um, you know, move forward, grow um, on that. Um, but for this movie, I'd give this five out of five stars. I really liked it. Um, it had, the action is towards more the end of the movie. Uh, a lot of firepower and fire sh gunshot scenes and a lot of action. Um, you know, the quality of the movie for, I think it came out in 2011 or something around that time. And the quality is what you would expect for that time of uh, of the video. 
Um, but it wasn't bad, and it was you, you get over it after a while. So, but that's my review. Um, I've gone on for long enough. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and um, have a good day, everyone. And have a good week, and stay positive.